Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. That was kind of weird, uh, you know, just it didn't fully go screen for some reason. Um, hello. <laughs> hello, Vanovex. Wow. Do I know you? Vanovex. I don't know you, dude. I don't know you. <laughs> Okay, um, so last time we left off, we were doing uh, a little bit of spook wood hunting. And I'm just going to take a quick peek to see if I see anything before it goes dark. I can't see that far. Hold on. I, I, I just want to be able to... Nope, that was a dead tree. There was a little spot right there. I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. <clears throat> I don't see anything. Okay. Well, I do want to give it a chance. So, um, hang tight for a second, because I'm going to show off everything that you guys have found since uh, yesterday. Oh my gosh. You guys don't play around. Faceless over here with the three spook woods. Look at this. Each one. Uh, I don't know. Can I zoom in on them? There we go. We've got a lot to go through, so good job, Spookless. And then there's, oh dude, he came and found me. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Anyhow, um, and then we got Perry. He found that one, it was right next to the bridge. Nice find. And then there was one that was in the winter biome, but I don't know where at. I don't see where you chopped it at, so. Good job, uh, Logic Cat AC. Logic at AC. Logic Cat. Back. And then 40 minutes later, he found another one. And then there's Captain, Captain, uh, the kid. Oh, you found one of the, the older trees that we call those older spooks. I'm just kidding, they're called elders. Anyhow, <clears throat> and actually, that's not, it doesn't look, well, yeah, it's got the little spindles at the end, so it would be categorized. These things are awesome, though. Seriously. All right, that was, who was that? The kid, and then we got best boy over here with a stump. Um, okay, so I did change this. It doesn't have to be just spook wood. It's spook wood or sinister wood. If you find sinister, look at that. Nice bright orange, and it's got the, the color on it and stuff. The, uh, the texturing. I've noticed that the uh, spook trees do not have textures. Uh, that was King Eo. Hellcat pause underscore spook. Look at these. Look at all the spook wood you guys have found. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There is nine so far this year. Nice. Um, and then this is Kygo's. Wait, I thought that we just did Kygo. No, that was Hellcat. Okay. And then King Eo. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and then Venovex. Good hunting, everyone. Look at it. Look at you, dude. One, two, three, four, and that's the guy that's standing right next to me right here. That's Venovex right there. So, GG, dude. Aschick. Hey, by the way, Aschick. Thank you so much for logging in with me last night. I found that one spook tree, and I was so excited for it. So she found three. Then Kingo added again. Oh my god, dude. Seriously. And then we got Lumber Lover, 112, 1200. 12, 1, and then obviously this one, when I saw this, I was awestruck. I'm like, dude, you found it inside the volcano? I don't even stop to look while I'm going up the volcano. That is, that is a good find. And then Toasty again. I don't know if that's a second one or a first one. And then this one was still growing. Fourth spook right next to your base. Uh, spook tree two and one. Uh, sorry, that was ass chick. And then this was Roblox, Roblox BLK wizard. And then set Holly, Holly, oh wait, you got one. And then these, Kai go again, King King Eo. And then there's me. There's my first one. Look, I actually found one, but I wasn't recording when it happened, so you know it doesn't really count. Not for me. <laughs> 
One is spooked uh, cut down and another one despawned right next to it. Dude, lucky. Found in the winter biome. Here's the seventh tree, and that's from games 4 2. 8, 9, 10, 11. Look at that. Hard at work. Putting in the work. Uh, Vizicia? Vizicia? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not going to read off the names anymore just because I just realized how far down I've got to still scroll just to get. So I'm just going to fly through these. Morgs, awesome job. There we go. Armag98. Uh, huge Sinister by Nightmare Bear. Bunavox, there you go. Uh, Shardy? Shorty? Shardy? 56. And then Spooks, Spooky Scary Skeleton. Oh my gosh. Seriously, look at these. Just go, just go. If you if you see your name, congratulations. But yeah, these are uh, that's incredible, you guys. If you are in the video, put your comment down below. I was at number, and then like timestamp it. And there's another one. Hey, red or jingle? Oh, sorry, almost called you red guy because the suit found. I guess red guy uses the gold suit, doesn't he? No way, you got another one. Nice. <laughs> Next to the volcano. So, if you guys are saying, "Hey, I can't find Spookwood. I can't find it sinister," it's it's out there. Like, you guys are finding it, and that is crazy. Look at this. I know I'm going kind of fast, but I got a lot to go through. I'm almost wondering if that was a bad idea. <laughs> All right. Marked. And uh, here up in Thursday's video. Oh, look at that. You see that? like part you see that like part oh that's a that's a cube though that's not it's not a tree so all right we will fade back into view and let's get going because we've got some hunting to do hiya you here to help out smiley face what's up buddy <laughs> hi I just showed off some of your spookwood finds. Smiley face. Mm. Wow. Can't even say the name of the tree. You know what I mean. Yes, you. Fan. <laughs> yeah, you. You. <laughs> that's that's who I was talking about. Okay. Um, so let's just jump down. I'll take a quick peek. Um, nice. Found five so far. I need to go find one. Let's go ahead and grab. Uh, let's not grab an axe and let's go get a cheapy, a cheap one. There we go. Oh, hold on. Menu. Hold on. Settings. Uh, sit in the seat. There you go. Can you try again? There you go. I'm not going to let you drive my vehicles. Oh, we're good. We're good there. Okay. Let's go get a silver axe and then we will just start hunting for spook wood. Basically, I'm just gonna run around this map real quick and then I'm going to, actually, I think I see one right there. I don't see any leaves on that one though. Okay. Um, <clears throat> just so you guys know, I'm, I'm a little, I'm not under the weather. I've really been using my brain all day today. Like, 
a lot. Um, so I program in Cold Fusion. I'm, I'm going to be very boring for a second, and I'm just going to tell you exactly about my day. I program in Cold Fusion, and we had a meeting today, and I'm putting together a list of specific items or objects that um, one of the companies has asked us to deliver to them directly, right? Um, man, it's really hard to explain without details. Basically, they're asking for it to be, be delivered in an XML format. And for those of you that don't know what XML is, it's, it's a way for programs, websites, computers to communicate data back and forth with very large amounts of data and a standard format. Well, here's the thing. I can program it to do that, but I haven't done it in a really long time. I'm talking probably six months, maybe a year. I haven't had to touch XML. So that's what I had to do today. I had to sit down, figure out, and find out how to run XML formatting on reports or queries. Quar queries? Queries. Queries. Anyhow, um, that's what my brain's been doing all day is figuring out the cold fusion. I got it done right around like six o'clock, which is still like two hours past the time that I normally get normally get off. Um, because I go to work at seven and I get off at four. So, I mean, that's a pretty good thing. I am a remote worker, so. Oh, 6.45 comes through, or come, comes around really fast in the mornings, but I mean, Oh my gosh, really? Really? You're gonna do me like that? Get out of the way! Oh my gosh! That was some no jokes there. <sighs> He's like, pew! Pew! <laughs> what, what's, what's all the kids say? Gee! Is that, is that right? Did I say she? I don't know how to say it. That might be a little bit old. I've been dated. And we, we've found that I'm no longer cool, according to my kids. Actually, that's not true. My kids still think I'm pretty cool. So. I don't know if that's going to last forever. Probably not. You know, and it's, it's okay. We all age out eventually, you know. Get to our prime and find that nice, easy, relaxing pace that we were looking for the entire time that we worked our butts off for our entire life. Because that's, you know, that's what it is. What do, what do you do? You, uh, you're born, you go to school, grow up, get that good job, go to college before, and then you go get the good job. And then you settle down, have a family, have a career, then you retire, and you die. And that's it. And that's our lives. It's very depressing when you put it down in that minute of a package, but uh, here's the truth of it. Being human is awesome, okay? We have the biggest brains. I know there's a lot of people who would debate, oh, uh, well, dolphins are the smartest creatures. Okay, I would like to see a dolphin create a, um, a container and put a human in it and study them. <laughs> that's that's my you know yes for non-humans dolphins are pretty smart and dolphins have a, a pretty big brain but when it comes to all animals of earth all creatures of earth humans win with the brain you know it doesn't make us the strongest it doesn't make us the anything else it just ah dang okay jump out Turn, 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 turn. Boop. There we go. It is. It's a good thing to be a human, but with being a human, there's a lot of caveats that come with that. Such as Well, and it's not really too different, you know, from plants and other life forms. I mean that's the the whole purpose is to live. I mean, that's, that's what it's about, 
it's not about how long you live. It's not about how much time you have in this world. It's about what you did with the time you were given. You know? That's what it comes down to. And so far, I have no complaints, okay? There's a couple things I might have gone back and changed in my lifetime, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy with my life. Pretty happy with where we're at. Pretty happy with the YouTube channel. I mean, come on, I made a YouTube channel, right? I got a, I got the play button. It's hanging on my wall. That's pretty cool. Uh, from one ADHD kid who grew up in Springfield, Missouri, born in Rogersville, I look at the world and think, man, I've had a lot of opportunities and there's a lot of hurt in the world that's that's curable that's fixable and the best way is to be nice just be nice I mean I, I say this every video but like I don't see any spookwood, by the way. I know you guys are here for the spookwood, but I mean, I'm so tired. So tired. I really should be uh, recording these during my lunch breaks if I can. Ban, did you see any? See Nope. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. I don't. I don't know if I have any uh, dynamite on my property, so I'm gonna grab a couple, and we're actually gonna run over to the winter biome. I don't normally spend this much time in. Ser actually, yeah, I do. I totally spend this much time in servers because you guys uh, watched it last year too, right? Oh my gosh, that one run took us 17 minutes. Ugh, okay, not those, these. There you go. And I'm gonna grab two. Hi, Bob. <laughs> hey, come on, dude, just sell me the things. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Thanks. There you go. I need to have a speed check out over here, you know? Like a lumber master card. Give me flight points or something. <laughs> free, free trips on Hoover's boat. I already get those. I bought the pass. Uh, and by the way, if you don't buy, like, if you don't have money or Robux to buy the pass, that's totally fine. You still can. What? This guy's saying there wasn't always a snow biome. Um, that's not true. Why did you blank out um? I said, um. <laughs> oh, send him to the office. He said, um. That, that's, you, you know, I do have a lot of personal opinions about Roblox and its platform and what it's doing with itself. But for the most part, you know, you can't argue with logic. The word um needs to be blocked, right? No spook trees. No spook trees. Oh, I did find the statue. I did it yesterday whenever I was in the, the server with uh, Aztec and we found that other spookwood. I was curious because I could not find it, could not find it. Finally, I went back and I was looking through the uh, photos inside uh, my server and somebody said, you have to be at the end of the road and facing, what, east, west, west. I'm gonna go after this. All right. I'm gonna head out. Here's the cool thing. I used to see them up here, up here on top of these rocks 
all the time. Like in between the, the peninsula area, in between the snowy biome and the main biome. They would appear always. And, um, I think, don't quote me on this, I think the spawn rate is faster this year. It's gotta be, because I mean, you guys are killing it. And for a spook tree to grow, the server, or the, yeah, the server that you're in has to have been opened for 17 hours. Like that game has to have been up and running for like 17 hours. It's huge, huge time. And I don't know if that's for it to spawn in or if that's, because the initialization should spawn at least one, right? I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong, you know? Uh, somebody was asking me the other day, do they spawn in private servers? Yes, but again, you have to start it and then leave it for like 17 hours. Wait, where? Hold on, he said wait, is that it? Where is it? Where is it? Did you see one? Nah, joking, you jerk. <laughs> uh, I probably shouldn't call you a jerk. That's that's mean. I'm sorry. You fool. Uh, I got a message from Cineac the other day. He said, uh, hey, Code, you should go and play Refinery something or other. And then I got to look at my comments and like six of you are like, Code, go play Refinery. So I went and took a look at it. I think it's another stolen copy of Lumber Guys. Like there, there's not too much looking different about it. Okay, I'm not seeing anything down here. All right, let's go up to the top. Up to the top. You can never stop. I don't know what song that is. It's been a while. It's been a while. Can he do it his first turn? He cannot. The lag is good though. See that? Oh my goodness. Skills. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh my gosh. Seriously? <laughs> my character's just like freaked out. He's like, <laughs> and I fell out of my chair. I'm just gonna lay here for a second. It's nice. Nice and cold in the biome. It's snowy. It's very snowy. And. Oh, okay. That just happened. Bi biome. Biome. Snow biome. Alright. There we go. Now I'm in. Is it because I got somebody else in the truck? No, no, it's never messed me up before. Is it because I'm off balance because of the dynamite? No, no. It's because I'm old and I haven't played this in a while. <gasps> Come on! And I jumped out. <laughs> I feel the lag. Is it gonna go on over? Oh, it almost did. I don't think that's gonna work. Just saying. All right, if we turn this way. There we go. I hate to break it to him, but exploiters get it too quick. 
hate to break it to you, but I just showed off over, what was it, like 50 spook trees that were found by my server members. I also found one yesterday in the main biome. Hi, code. <laughs> but we were quicker than the explorers. Oh, dang. <laughs> He's a dang it. The wood can spawn nearly everywhere other than underworld and small islands and anything covering the sky. 100 plus units above its spawn point. But I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not Noah Big Bomber? Dude, are you Noah Big Bomber? Oh, he's Noah Big Bomber, dude. You just said you weren't. Liar. Skills. Skills. <clears throat> beep beep. I see you down there. Beep beep. Mind if I join? Uh, down to server jump but sure actually I don't have time for another server I'm going to head back and show the statue I promised all right there we go I, I did I promise I don't think I promised so I don't have to do anything <laughs> just kidding That's it. There is no spook wood anywhere to be seen or found or heard from ever again. Blah. All right, here we go. I almost caught it. <laughs> Skills. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and you can purchase your own skills t-shirt from my uh, my spring store link should be in the description down below Have I ever shown you guys it was done as a joke, but like people liked it hold on Let me let me see if I can go find my own store. It's been a while um, Was it spring? Spring.com teespring 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 Teespring. There it is. Let me go over here. No, I don't want to start creating. I want to log in, please. I am not a robot. Log in. <clears throat> there it is. Okay, stores and product. Where's my where's my product view store? There we go. Okay. Hold on. And cut. So it's got my old logo and old banner and stuff up there, but here's like all the cool stuff that is on my store. Oh wait, where's the rest? Oh, there we go. <laughs> skills, skills. <laughs> I don't know, if you guys like it, cool. I mean, if not, oh well. I made it and I thought it was fun. I also need to get me some stickers, but here's the thing, I would not pay $8 for a sticker. Not even for my own face, so. It's really up to you. And I do have some promo codes, I think. Sub to code, hold on, let me get rid of this. Cut, and I'll tell you what the, those codes are. Let's go to um, dashboard, tools and services, promotions. All right, so you can do sub to code, code primate, or outro. Um, sub to code is 20% off. Uh, code primate is five dollars off and outro is ten dollars and that looks like this right here so all right 
I think I'm done. I have for one second. You know what? Fine. No, I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> I think he's trying to catch rocks. No, I, was, I stopped for a second. Oh, uh. Is that a spook tree? <gasps> spook tree! Look! It's. Oh, it's brown. Alright, let's go drop this off. Shrink. Oh, and. Go ahead and drop my silver axe. Since I don't really need it. Alright. Do 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 Is that your base? That base looks actually pretty cool. Hey code, random question, but how long have you been playing this game for? Uh long time. Long time. I think 2014 maybe? 2015 maybe? I don't know. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, get to the end of the road. Turn towards the west. Ow! Dang it. Turn towards the west, and we're going to glitch under the floor. Turn. Jump. Uh-oh. There we go. So this is the part where I'm actually under the floor. Oh no, you're not gonna be able to see it because I didn't bring a car down. Dang it. Anyhow, that's the statue. Uh, can I adjust my video at all? Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Can I do that thing where I I do the darkness? Hold on. Where is Roblox? Roblox game. Right click. Filter properties. Filters. Color correction. Ah, oh, it's a little little better. Oh, contrast. We can we can turn the contrast way down there. Saturation. It's the gamma that's messing me up. Uh, uh, maybe. Maybe the brightness does need to come up. Why is this being so weird? Is it different kind of lighting? What's default? Oh, that's default. Okay, so this this is a normal view. Let's bring up that gamma and the contrast. Saturation, hue, shift. No. Anyhow, that's it. Properties, properties. All right, let's go ahead and turn that off. Um, if it were light out or if I had a car down here, I would be able to show you this better. Um, it looks much better with a spotlight on it, but this is the statue. I think it's a statue of Mary, Jesus's mother. And I don't want to get into religious aspects or anything like that, but that's, that's what it is. And it's here in lumber under the ground, under the floor. I don't know why Defaultio added this, if Defaultio added this. So, yeah. Whatever the case may be, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all the cool things I'm supposed to call out in the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here. You watched. You had fun. Love you guys for that. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. Outro. <laughs>